What's up, Collider fans? Two stars from the DCEU are headed to TV. We've got the details next. Jeff Snyder here, joined by Mark Riley. How are Mark, you? I'm good. I'm good. good, buddy. Good. Look at Diane this. Diane Lane and Jason Momoa lining up two new TV shows. Yeah, it's all the rage now. Where, Everybody's where, getting a TV show. Where do you want to start? Uh, I want to start with Why the Last Man. Okay, yeah, this why is a not? big one. This is a big one. Yeah, uh, so this is an FX series. Why the Last Man, one of these, like uh, almost like a, a holy grail of comic properties, it feels like. It feels like I've been reading about this movie, well, even though it's a TV series now. I've been reading about the property as a yeah. movie for like the last 15 years. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say five years because this thing has been in development for so long. It seems like it's been a while. Yeah, I don't it's know. Been it just seems like since I got to town, they've been talking about this. Yes, I agree because very popular comic series. As you mentioned, it was in development as a movie for so, so many years. Right. And then I want to say it also then moved into development to be a TV show at another network and was dropped. But you, have, you have I, a better development. I can record barely with this. even keep track of all this stuff. So again, this is based on the DC comic series by Brian K. Vaughn and right. Guerra. Why the Last Man follows. Uh, it's set in a post-apocalyptic world in which a cataclysmic event has decimated every male mammal. So forget the the Thanos snap. This is right. just. It's every not male. Half. This is everybody except for one guy named Yorick. Yeah, one guy. Uh, yeah. And, and this new world order of women will explore, uh, you know, gender, race, class, or all that stuff will be in the TV series. So I think it was like July 2007. So not 15 years, 11 years or so. DJ yeah. Caruso was going to do this. That's right. DJ yes, Caruso. Shia LaBeouf. Right, exactly. He was going to be York. Right. Uh, and Carl Ellsworth, who did Red Eye, had written the script. David Goyer was going to produce. They liked Shia. They liked Alicia Keys. Right. It, was in it just got stuck in development hell for years. Right. I think a couple of Jericho writers ended up taking a crack at the script at, at one point. Mm -hmm. uh, but now but now it's uh, has resurfaced on FX, and we've got Diane Lane right. playing uh, York's mother. Yes. Who is a, a key to this universe. She Give is, me a little yeah. bit more. The se she's the senator. She's the one that's kind of... Not running the whole show, but she's definitely one that's like kind of uh, trying to establish a new world order in this world that that has no men. Yeah, uh, and it is a good comic book series. I got into the first, I would say five, but you know, comics for me you know, they're hard to keep up with sometimes. Sure. Uh, what's really exciting for for me at least is that Barry Keoghan from mm. Dunkirk and the Killing of a Sacred Deer. Yes. He is going to be the lead in this. He is why the last man. Yeah. This is coming off an, an amazing performance. I thought in American Animals. I just think this guy is super talented. Yeah. I never would have thought that he would be the lead on some FX TV series, but kudos to the executives over there for recognizing that this is an up and coming actor with a lot to offer and pairing him with Diane Lane. The sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. I, I think it's perfect casting, to, to be honest with you. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of this. I like where it's going. FX is a great network for this kind of material, so I, I'm very interested to see how this pay, uh, plays out. And they need more one-hour dramas over there. Like, yeah. you know, I, I don't watch Legion or, 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 I mean, there's a lot of good FX programs Legion's that I don't watch. Good. I'm digging I, it. I yeah. love Fargo, but, if, you know, yeah. who knows when that show's going to come back. It's supposed to come back next year, so we're going to be waiting a little a little while for that one. Right. Diane Lane and Barry Keoghan going to be joined by Imogen Poots, mm -hmm. so good in Green Room. Yeah, Lashana oh, yeah. Lynch, who, who got the role in Captain Marvel as mm -hmm. Brie Larson's pal. Right. Juliana K. Canfield and Marin Ireland, who's a, a wonderful character actress. Uh, you'll recognize her from a ton of stuff. So that's a really cool ensemble coming together for Why the Last Man. Uh, and, and it's got Melina Matsukas, I think, is uh, is directing. Michael Green is co-showrunner with Ada right. Mashaka Kroll. Lots, lots of cool stuff there. Lots of good talent. Then on the other side of things, we've yeah. got this Jason Momoa series. Tell me about that. Oh, well, I don't know a lot about this one, but the fact that it's for Apple TV. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple TV is now making some major plays here uh, for original programming. And to have Jason Momoa step in, you know, we're getting Aquaman in December. If that movie hits, which which it's likely going to, but he's known for Aquaman. This this is a very interesting uh, series to look forward to. He's a fearless warrior. That makes sense. He was called Rago on Game right. of Thrones. It's, it's so fitting casting. It's very fitting casting. The, 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 I don't. The show is called C, right? C, yes. The show is called C. It's from the uh, creator of Peaky Blinders, Stephen Knight, and the Huge. Hunger Games Catching Fire director, Francis Lawrence. So yeah. there's a real pedigree there. Uh, basically, C is described as an epic world-building drama set in the future. Perfect. Where the human race has lost the sense of sight. Oh. 
and society has had to sort of find new ways to interact, to build, to hunt, to survive. And all of that is challenged when a set of twins with sight is born. These are the only two people who can see. So you can see kind of the similarities between why the last man and see this kind of, yeah. you know, it's these radical futuristic world visions. Yeah, future, uh, post-apocalyptic, uh, kind of you know, something kind of there that, you know, one man left on the world, uh, nobody can see. I like both concepts, to be honest with you. Mm. It's going to be how the execution comes across. The casting right now, for me at least, is on point. And Momoa, who's playing this character, Baba Voss, I love that, I love that name. He Sounds like a Star Wars name. Came out of TV, you know, on Game of Thrones. Sure. Uh, a lot of people think that his best, you know, dramatic work as an actor was on that uh, Sundance Channel TV show, The Red The Red Road. I think oh, it was I never called. saw that. Yeah, yeah. Neither did I, but I think Roke is a big fan. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if he can sort of capture lightning in a bottle again with this Apple show. Uh, Diane Lane, a fantastic actress. I, I I'm glad to be seeing more of her. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, so the DCEU. They're, they're, they're expanding. They're, yeah, everybody's doing TV, well. TV, huh? Uh, so, guys, let us know what you think about Momoa and Diane Lane coming to TV. Uh, do, do you wish that they were doing more DC movies? It's, could this take you know them away from that universe? Leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe to Collider for more. <laughs>